Hello, everyone. My name is Hollis Xu, and uh, I am Digital Research Manager at Mobile Measure. I am responsible for client service and project management at Mobile Measure. Uh, hi, everyone, and I'm uh, Naveen Williams. Uh, I'm uh, Hollis' colleague, and uh, uh, today we will be talking to you about uh, uh, channeling the power of mobile messaging uh, for consumer engagement in uh, China. Uh, so, uh, mobile messaging uh, actually is very diverse, and uh, uh, while if if you look at the time spent by consumers on uh, mobile uh, messaging, you will uh, see uh, uh, that uh, uh, communication is the most time that's spent uh, you know, in apps, the communication apps, and uh, even amongst communication apps, uh, actually it is messaging apps which dominate uh, the landscape. So you see here, uh, this is a, a world view. So it looks like uh, uh, WhatsApp is the dominant uh, one amongst these consumers surveyed. Uh, while uh, WeChat, uh, uh, though it's one of the smaller uh, spheres there, in China, they have a market share of uh, over 70-80% uh, of all uh, mobile consumers. Okay, uh, this chart is a very interesting chart just to tell you how crowded uh, the messaging uh, space is. So uh, depending on uh, how diverse your friends are, you actually might have all these messaging uh, apps uh, on your phone. Uh, so depending on uh, if you're in Japan, uh, then you'll have an app which is dominated, which is Line. If you're in China, it's uh, WeChat. Korea, it's uh, uh, Kakao, and uh, so on. And uh, if it's with uh, business, you'll have uh, LinkedIn, and uh, so on. Yeah, but uh, if uh, it's China, uh, it's almost always WeChat. Yeah. Uh, this illustrates uh, it very well. So these are the three dominant uh, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, and WeChat are the dominant uh, messaging platforms uh, globally. And uh, while WhatsApp and Facebook, you can see, dominate the landscape in uh, multiple countries, uh, WeChat uh, is uh, actually dominant only in uh, China uh, mainly though they have are growing in other markets and uh, there is no mention of China uh, or for WhatsApp or uh, Facebook if you see in the other two uh, charts. Yeah, so in, in China uh, mobile is by far the uh, number one screen. Uh, you can see that the time spent uh, on uh, smartphones uh, outstrips uh, TV uh, laptops and tablets by uh, uh, quite a bit and then uh, also content uh, uh, especially t uh, t television content has uh, is now dominated on uh, uh, the second screen uh, then uh, of course uh, this is something I, uh, uh, Chinese uh, New Year or Spring Festival in uh, 2017 so Hongbao is uh, uh, gifting uh, of money in envelopes that is a tradition in, in China. So uh, uh, the red packet, a virtual red packet uh, this year uh, worth 64 million US dollars or 46 billion packets were uh, uh, exchanged and, and uh, given uh, via WeChat. Uh, this year. Uh, similarly, in 2015, they used a shake function and uh, consumers uh, to participate uh, in a television entertainment program shook their phones uh, uh, to get prizes or hongbao and uh, it was uh, shaken 11 billion times uh, in 2015. So Hongbao uh, is uh, really helping uh, the growth of WeChat because uh, a lot of payments like ta taxi fare 
and a lot of uh, other services uh, that you buy at uh, supermarkets you can just use uh, WeChat uh, to pay yeah and you can see that uh, mobile messaging uh, across uh, countries is set to grow and there's no real uh, slowdown other than uh, actually the average time per session so the uh, people's attention pans are uh, continue to drop but uh, the involvement is uh, rising. Yeah, uh, some of the things that uh, uh, work for messaging is that uh, no app needs to be downloaded because it's an app that is already uh, with a consumer and we're using it to reach uh, the consumer. So be it WhatsApp or WeChat. And uh, in a way it is less uh, intrusive because it's something that consumers are accessing anyway multiple times a day and uh, there's an ability for us to push messaging to them and uh, receive uh, responses and it can be made very engaging and interactive uh, like we saw uh, the Hangbao using the accelerometer and uh, consumers shaking the phone and then of course then there are other services like uh, uh, location-based services, e-commerce, moments, which is uh, uh, the uh, page where updates and uh, uh, status of consumers are updated and shared with uh, their friends, uh, QR codes, beacons. So the list uh, goes on and, and it's constantly being updated. Yeah. So uh, effectively, it is uh, a meaningful uh, way of making connections at uh, relevant moments. And that's what we see the advantage of uh, uh, messaging where uh, the world is full of distractions and uh, we want to get to the moment of uh, truth yeah? uh, through the mobile. Okay, now I'll hand over to uh, Hollis uh, to uh, just give you a feel of uh, how surveys are done. Okay, so uh, it's a more detailed introduction of the most popular messaging platform in China. It's called WeChat. Uh, it's quite similar to WhatsApp but with many with many more features. Okay, so um, as WeChat is widely used in China, we have started to apply it in our research studies. These are some screenshots we take from Mobile Measures official account which can invite respondents to follow us and finish a survey on WeChat. Apart from inviting and completing the surveys via WeChat, there is a function called Moment. You can share your posts and comments there. Respondents can post their survey links into Moment to secondly invite their friends, uh, which means uh, the respondents' friends can get access to the link and finish the surveys. Uh, when inviting members to participate in surveys, generally we generate a link to have them enter. Now with WeChat, we can just provide them with a QR code and ask respondents to scan and they will go into the survey directly, which saves both a lot of time. There is also a function we need to notice is called Hongbao, which is uh, as known as Repacket. We can give respondents each completion, each successful completion of the survey. We can give respondents incentives while we check payment. Uh, it's a virtual, virtual Repacket, virtual cash, right? Okay. Um, so with WeChat survey, uh, due to its penetration, we can quickly reach tier three and four cities and uh, get responses immediately. Data can come in real time and respondents can finish service anytime, anywhere. Speed and efficiency are largely increased. However, we have some weak points on WeChat surveys. It's still a relatively uh, new methodology compared to traditional ways. And the long surveys do very poorly uh, while we chat. Also, time and uh, certain target groups are hardly to control. Right now, it's the Wild West with lots of WeChat accounts competing for consumer time. There are no standards and benchmarks yet. 
Okay, now I hand the next few slides to Naveen again. Currently, actually, there are a lot of ways that you can engage with consumers and reward consumers. So you can give them uh, virtual coupons, uh, loyalty points, as uh, Hollis mentioned, the most effective way is actually just give them uh, cash through uh, Hongba. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm going to uh, uh, su summarize with some of the key features which uh, WeChat supports and uh, uh, which uh, they are working on to improve constantly. So the first one, of course, is the social uh, uh, messaging moments, which uh, anyone uh, uh, who you uh, allow to can uh, uh, view you. Uh, so uh, the uh, messaging uh, and uh, with the moments added uh, makes it very dynamic. And uh, then you have uh, uh, wearables and uh, Internet of Things. So it allows you to connect uh, third-party uh, APIs into uh, WeChat, which uh, makes uh, the experience it can be as uh, engaging as you want it to be. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, a lot of content and uh, e-commerce is being funneled uh, uh, through uh, WeChat and consumed, increasing the time being spent by consumers on uh, WeChat. And uh, uh, also, uh, because of uh, uh, its uh, LBS functions, uh, you can uh, do a lot of uh, location-based activities. For instance, a store can actually uh, just add uh, beacons uh, in uh, their store and a consumer walking in just has to shake uh, the their phone to connect to the beacon and get uh, either messaging or coupons or discounts or uh, how they want to make that activity. And of course, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, because they are collecting so much uh, uh, data on consumers. Uh, they are uh, they have a lot of self-learning tools, and uh, even bots uh, are, are getting to be very popular uh, as uh, uh, communication for uh, brands, and uh, it can definitely be used for research as well. Yeah, so uh, that that's uh, all uh, uh, from uh, my side at the moment. Uh, both Hollis and my emails are uh, out there, so please feel free to uh, drop us a line. Uh, and uh, over to Sue now uh, and any questions 